Well, I think that we've reestablished the fact that measles is a very important uh, disease. It's a very important cause of m morbidity and mortality in primarily in children under the age of five, but it also causes very serious disease in, in adults that, uh, that become infected. And for the parents who think that there's the shots and the vaccines are overstressing the immune system, they should think about what these actual, the infections, I mean, anybody with a small child knows that it's, you know, one infection after another <laughs> and, and the amount of, that you're actually contributing by vaccinating is, uh, is not uh, and much of an added burden. First of all, we need very high coverage. We need a higher coverage than we needed for smallpox or, or even for polio. We need more than 95% of people to be immune because the virus is so infectious that it will find those one or two people that are not immune. Delivering the vaccine is key to controlling the disease. The vaccine is safe. We know it can control the disease, so uh, the big issue becomes then delivering the vaccine uh, effectively. I think that as it is, it's, it should be mandatory. Uh, that uh, the point was made that it's not only protecting your own child, so that's making a smart decision for your own kid, but it's also a public health obligation to not have these kinds of viruses circulating in the population for the small numbers of children who, small but significant numbers of children who have medical reasons why they can't be vaccinated. They're immunocompromised, they have cancer and they're being treated. And those children have a high probability of dying of measles if they, have, if they contract measles. And so it, they're only protected by the fact that most people are, are vaccinated. So I would, it already is a mandatory thing, and I, but I would make it difficult to opt out. We need two doses of the vaccine, and that's mainly because not everyone responds the first time and those people need a second chance to respond in order to be able to get us up over that 95% uh, uh, hurdle. And it's always possible that there's still that 1% that doesn't respond even to the second dose, even though you do get up very close to 99% then. Uh, and the other thing is that the, you know we've only had the vaccine since 1963. We've only had real control of wild type measles so that people aren't constantly being exposed or sort of boosted uh, in you know the last maybe 20 years uh, that the numbers of cases have really been down. So we're just now beginning to learn how long the vaccine uh, lasts and whether there's going to be a need. I'm participating with some people from the CDC and in giving third doses of the vaccine. Uh, uh, whether at you know maybe at college age or you know in Young adults should get a third dose, uh, whether the, you need to boost that again. We don't know that answer, as I say, we're just, but we do know that the immunity wanes over time. Uh, the autoimmune disease, the encephalomyelitis, is more common in older, uh, I mean, in not young, in the over five group, but that then extends all the way uh, to adults, and so that's a bad neurologic complication. And uh, for many reasons, you may be more susceptible to pneumonia and the kinds of things that actually can also cause uh, death due to disease as well as uh, require hospitalization. So um, the, the incidence of having to be hospitalized if you're an adult, uh, you're, you're more likely to have to be hospitalized if you're an adult when you get your first, first primary disease than if you're six.